Welcome to Around the Weird. Here's your host, the museum curator of the strange and unusual, Mr. Nothing. Thank you, Mysterious Voice, and welcome back to Around the Weird, a booktube channel where I talk about unusual and out-of-the-ordinary literature that I have found in my travels. Today it is Poetry Thursday, and I have skipped Poetry Thursday in the past few weeks just because it hasn't fit into my schedule, and I have been wanting to return to it because I do enjoy lo- talking about poetry. Uh, so, you know, I'm back here uh, ready to talk about a poem that focuses on um, obsessing over dirty clothes. <laughs> um, I'm simplifying it. Uh, I'm referring to uh, June Jordan's It's Hard to Keep a Clean Shirt Clean. For those that don't know, June Jordan was a Jamaican American uh, who wrote uh, a lot in her time, uh, whether it be poetry, short stories, um, essays, uh, books. Uh, she wrote for children sometimes. Uh, whatever you whatever you want, want name it, like it's there. She won awards for her work and was praised by uh, various literary critics out there. Um, she um, she often talked about bisexuality, sexual freedom, uh, racism. Uh, she talked about 9/11 in her last uh, last published book. Um, she died in 2002, so um, she still had time to form some, form some thoughts on that before. Unfortunately, she died of breast cancer. Um, she talked about her own upbringing a lot in her work, and um, also touched upon feminist ideas. So um, a lot of a lot of topics covered in her work, um, and and um, a very long uh, life to. To cover all those topics, I would probably say she uh, she identified in the confessionalist school, although I I, um, I can't really say that for certain, uh, just because I haven't seen a lot of her work. The poem that I'm talking about today does fall in the confessionalist boundaries, but you know maybe th- uh, lumping people into different schools is, isn't as um, uh, fruitful as, as we might think it would be. So. Um, confessionalist leanings but maybe not entirely uh so yeah without further ado let's talk about this poem i will do a little summary a little analysis and we will move on from there it's hard to keep a clean shirt clean by june jordan poem for sharam shram asunder and all a poetry for the people it's a sunlit morning with jasmine blooming easily and a drove of robin redbreast diving into the ivory covering what used to be a backyard fence or dove shoving aside the birch tree leaves when a young man walks among the flowers to my doorway where he knocks and stands still brilliant in a clean white shirt he lifts a soft fist to that door and knocks again He's come to say this was or that was not, and what's any of us to do about what's done, what's past but prickling salt to sting our eyes? What's any of us to do about what's done? And seven-month-old bingo puppy leaps and hits that clean white shirt with muddy paw prints here and here and there. And what's any of us to do about what's done? I say I'll wash the shirt, no problem. Two times through the delicate blue cycle of an old machine, the shirt spins in the soapy suds and spins and rents and spins and spins out dry, not clean, still marked by accidents, by energy, of whatever serious or trifling cause that shirt stays dirty from that puppy's paws. I take that fine white shirt from India, the threads as soft as baby fingers weaving them together, and I wash that shirt between between the knuckles of my own two hands, I scrub and rub that shirt to take the dirty markings out. At the pocket and around the shoulder seam and on both sleeves, the dirt, the paw, prints tantalized my soap, my water, my sweat, equity, and invested in the restoration of a clean white shirt. And on the eleventh try, I see no more, no anything unfortunate, no dirt. I hold the limp fine cloth between the faucet stream of water as transparent as a wish the moon stayed out all day. How small it has become, that clean white shirt. How delicate. How slight. How like a soft fist knocking on my door. And now I hang the shirt to dry as slowly as it needs. The air to work its way with everything. It's clean. A clean white shirt. Nobody wanted to spoil or soil that shirt. Much cleaner but uh, now, but also not the same as the first before that shirt got hit, got hurt. Not perfect anymore, just beautiful. 
a clean white shirt. It's hard to keep a clean shirt clean. In terms of analysis, there is a lot to talk about with this poem, and I'm not fully sure that I that I understand everything about it. Um, on the surface, it looks like a a person, an individual, um, perhaps June herself, a woman, um, at her house when a a um, a young man comes by uh, to knock on her door. She seems to have a history with this person. Uh, her dog jumps up and gets the the gentleman's shirt dirty, and so she obsesses about cleaning it. Um, a lot of stuff to notice from that from that simple description. Uh, the first thing to notice is who is this gentleman caller? Uh, if he is a gentleman caller, uh, he could just be an average person. She seems to have a relationship uh, with this person um, because um, she notes uh, he's come to say this was or that was not. And what's any of us to do about what's done? what's past, but prickling salt to sting our eyes, what's any of us to do about what's done? And that's that feels like a significant line because it seems like there's a, a history between these two people. Were they in a relationship? Did something go sour? Um, uh, this woman seems to feel a little anxiety about, about this gentleman caller. Um, is there tension? What, what's going on there? Um, it's never explicitly said um, but maybe we can find some hints later in the poem uh, because the the woman kind of obsession obsesses about the shirt like it, it feels like she wants to get it clean because it maybe it represents uh, something about um, her uh, relationship with this this individual to demonstrate that she says um, I take that fine white shirt from India the threads as soft as baby fingers weaving them together and I wash that shirt between between the knuckles of my own two hands I scrub and rub that shirt to take out the dirty uh, markings out at the pocket and around the shoulder seam and on both sleeves the dirt the paw prints tantalize my soap my water my sweat equity invested in the restoration of a clean white shirt and so uh, she's she's very focused very obsessed with getting this shirt clean uh i don't which i don't know why like um it ha I'm, I'm thinking it has something to do with this relationship between uh the the young man and her uh were um were they involved together and that's why she feels the need to clean his shirt um does he have a position of power over her um it, it certainly seems that way at least in my opinion given that she's talked about racism in the past i i can't help but wonder if uh if uh if she's overly washing um the shirt because he's a white man and she is she's black and so uh, this is her way of, of trying to ease racial tensions or something like that um, again it's it's hard to figure out um, what exactly it is but it's it's clear she's she's obsessing over this I like how June Jordan um, really gets at that obsession and afterwards uh, the the narrator notes how small it has become that clean white shirt how delicate how slight how like a soft fist knocking on my door. And now I hang the shirt to dry as slowly as it needs the air to work its way with everything. And I, uh, I, I, I find it interesting that she says how small it has become, that clean white shirt, how delicate. Um, very interesting words to use just because if you say it's small or something like that, or delicate, how slight, it feels like the shirt's insignificant. Maybe it wasn't worth the effort something like that um i guess so uh if you are if you if you think you have a good reason for why she's obsessing over this or something like that maybe something that i missed with the poem absolutely comment below uh you know i would love to learn more about this poem and, and see other people's insights about it and then the last thing to note is um she uses small sentences often without any punctuation at all which i feel helps um accent accentuate um the obsession that this woman is going through maybe the nerve this tension, um, uh, which is why I said maybe there might be tension here because these, the way uh, the thought process here is very um, frenetic. Um, uh, I'll give you an example. Um, and what's any of us to do about what's done? I say I'll wash the shirt, no problem. Two times through the delicate blue cycle of an old machine, the shirt spins and the soapy suds and spins and rents and spins and spins out dry, not clean. And there's no punctuation there. 
it's it's just very frenetic very fast paced um at least that's how i think that the poem needs to be read um I'll, I'll definitely definitely link to it in the description so that you can read it and and visualize how how frenetic it really seems um uh, because uh it really seems like uh as i mentioned before that there's this tension exist and uh, that that exists and i and i don't quite know why it exists or what the nature of the relationship between this the, the narrator and um this this young gentleman is but it, it does not seem positive those were my thoughts on it's hard to keep a clean shirt clean by june jordan um, I am interested in checking out more of her work uh, because um, between this poem and a few others that I've read by her, she has um, uh, an interesting style of, of writing. And I, I like um, what, what she's talking about, too, um, the, the, talking about race, talking about uh, the, the relationship between two people, um, stuff like that. So um, I definitely recommend that you go seek it out. And again, I will put a link to it in the description so that you can find it. Um, otherwise, uh, don't forget to comment below if you with your thoughts on this poem or you want to say something about my review uh, love to have a discussion there otherwise um, also uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe so that other people can find out about June Jordan and in the meantime I wish you the best of luck in your weird travels have fun cleaning your dirty clothes